everyone, my name is Heidi. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Today I'm gonna try on some Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. I have five lipsticks that are the Super Lustrous cream formula and four lipsticks that are the pearl formula. I also have two lipsticks that are the sheer formula, but I think these might be discontinued because I couldn't find them on Revlon's website anymore, but I'll try this on just in case anybody's interested. I'm going to swatch all of these on my arm and then I'm going to try them on as well so you can see what they look like and you know the arm swatches are just nice so that you can kind of see the differences between the different shades a little easier. Revlon also has a matte formula of these lipsticks and I have tried one of those lipsticks before, I don't have that anymore and that one just didn't work for me. My lips are not super smooth so the matte formula just kind of got stuck in the little grooves of my lips so that just wasn't for me but i know a lot of other people really love it so you know you should just try out for yourself what you like um i really really like all these three other formulas that i have they go on the lips very smoothly it kind of feels like putting on lip balm like it really reminds me of this nivea original lip balm these are just so comfortable and so moisturizing on the lips the shade range is amazing in my opinion, that's why I have so many. And they're just very wearable shades, even though even I have like a lot of, I don't have like 10 shades of nude lipsticks here, but I feel like they're all still really wearable. I could talk about these lipsticks all day, I just love them so much and I really really love the packaging. I love simple packaging. It has a little window on the top so you can see which shade it is. All the shades also have the little sticker. You can see the formula here, you can see the shade name. This is my favorite bullet lipstick formula. I really also like the e.l.f. Seriously Satin lipsticks, which are these in this clear packaging, but um, those are like three pounds per one and these I believe these are 9.99 per one and I do think this one is a little bit better even though I still use elf ones and I love them but these ones are just I wish I had every single shade of this let's get started all right the first shade is number 805 kissable pink and this is a sheer shade you can kind of build it up a little bit and it's just a beautiful wash of color on your lips. I really love this, especially for the summer. Just a great everyday color. Although I think the sheer formula is discontinued, I noticed that this is still available on Amazon and so is the next shade that I'm gonna show you. The other sheer shade I have in my collection is the number 825 Lover's Coral and the name gives it away. It's a coral shade. This is also very spring-summer appropriate and the sheer formula is very glossy. It gives like very youthful, fresh vibe. Also, if you're wondering what is that highlighter I have on my face, it is the Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow Liquid Highlighter in Citrine. Next is shade 205 Champagne on Ice. This is in the pearl formula. This is a brownish rose gold shade and it has that beautiful pearl finish. It's a great everyday color. I was really surprised how much I like this pearl formula because I don't normally like these kind of shimmery shades, but this is so beautiful. Next shade 460, Blushing Mauve, also in the pearl formula. And this is a beautiful mauve shade and this kind of pulls a little bit warm on my skin tone at least. I love these kind of shades for every day because I'm pretty fair so I like a little bit of color on my face and this one paired with like mauvey or like a berry blush I feel like it would look amazing. This is 430 Soft Silver Rose also in the pearl formula. You can see compared to that first pink lipstick that I swatched on the far left it is a deeper, sort of dusty pink shade, and obviously the finish is different as well. This one is definitely more of a darker pink shade on my skin tone. I think you can really tell what I mean by these shades being very wearable. This shade, 457 Wild Orchid, is a magenta shade. The swatch doesn't look that intense, but when I saw it online before I bought this, this is a very vivid shade so i was a little bit worried how this would look like on me but i actually really like it i have nothing like this in my lipstick collection this obviously works as an everyday color as well but for me i think i would save this for like a party or something 
This pink peach shade for 15 pink in the afternoon is rumored to be Orchard Hepburn's lipstick in Breakfast at Tiffany's. I think I read somewhere that it actually wasn't this, but I like that this has that little story attached to it. And I've been wearing this a lot since I got this. This is such a beautiful everyday shade. And I feel like it really brings some color to my face. And this looks great as a blush too. This shade 535 from Raisin is the perfect shade for fall. This is a brownish berry shade and it's just dark enough to give you that kind of fall vibe. But it's not so dark that it would be like a vampy lip. It's still great for like everyday use. I have had this shade 725 Love That Red for a while. This is a watermelon red and as you can see it has like a pink orange undertone to it that makes it look very bright. This is such an iconic shade. Revlon has carried this shade since 1951. That makes it so special to me and it tells me that this shade never goes out of style. This is another original Revlon shade from 1951. This is 740, certainly red. And you can see this has more of a berry pink undertone compared to that previous red shade. And I just want to mention that I would normally use a lip liner for these, but I just want you to be able to see the shade a little bit better, which is why I did not use it in this video. This is such a classic red that everybody needs and this is the last shade that i'm going to try on number 477 black cherry this is a brown purple shade i love a good vampy lip for fall you can really build this color up to a very dark shade this one obviously needs a little bit more love when you apply it than the lighter shades because it can look a little bit patchy so make sure you apply this with care and that it's on evenly or you can just wear a very light layer, maybe use a lip brush to blend it out and that's going to be a little bit more wearable fall winter shade. That's it guys, these are all the shades that I have to show you. And yeah, I put on this is the shade pink in the afternoon. I hope you enjoyed this. I know if I ever buy a lipstick, I normally want to know what the lipstick looks like on. That's why I wanted to make this video because I was googling all of these shades every single one before I bought them as well. And so I thought maybe this can be useful for some of you. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite shade. And let me know if you have tried this. And also, I would love to know what is your favorite drugstore lipstick. I'm always looking for new ones to try. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing now. I post videos every Saturday at 10 a.m. BST. So I hope I will see you next Saturday. Bye.